you're in the bank and someone comes in and you know freeze i'm gonna kill you all unless one of you can do a handstand oh 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 me i'd be like i'd be like i can do it the long leg bull now you're, you are using that responsibly aren't you that's not that's that is just going on your skin no it's mouth spray that's oh, mouth spray okay. yeah you spray it in your mouth and it fixes your hand <laughs> Yo, 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 what's going on guys? We see here from More Than Lifting. This is a More Lifting podcast with myself and my good friend, no longer maintenance Chris, because he's been training. We're going to get into that in a bit, but just to <laughs> let you know, we are personal trainers from the UK and we're talking about bodyweight training, calisthenics, gymnastics. Functional strength training. Functional strength training and all kinds of other, thanks for that Chris, That's and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, we're actually doing an in-person, real life podcast today, which is really unusual. And I'm not actually looking at Chris when I do this, because I can't and actually keep going. <laughs> I'm looking at the pigeons, so it's fine. Damn pigeons. Hopefully, you know what, right? Before we get into anything important, I got shot on by a pigeon the other day. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. We talk- I was talking with a client, actually. Shat right on me. That like, right on my arm. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Yeah, it was like in the two seconds that I went into the garden as well. Uh, just because they were showing us stuff in the, in the garden, funnily enough. And I went in there and yeah, bird pooed right on me. Not just on like my clothes though, but on my arm as well. Because I was carrying my hoodie and it went on my arm too. Yeah, just why you weren't doing a handstand at the time because it could have run down your arm and on your hand. face. <laughs> Onto your hand. <laughs> oh no, it'd be even worse, not your hand. <laughs> not my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, pigeon poo aside. Yeah, so pigeon poo aside, they've actually gone off now we told that story. Um, it is a little bit windy here, so I'm going to apologise if there's any noise stuff. But Chris, let's uh, get into it, mate. What have, uh, yeah. what have you been up to? You've been, uh, you've been having a bit of fun, haven't you? You've been training and everything. I know, I've actually been training now. I have never, never stopped training completely, but uh, intensity, as we have discussed and you have fairly ridiculed me for quite recently, uh, has been a little bit low, shall we say. Uh, more, as we've said, maintenance consistent action but done at a much more moderate level so just keeping myself ticking over but yeah the last week or two it's been uh, stepping back up a little bit starting to get back into my cleans and snatches starting to uh, embrace the hard stuff again yeah, and, clean uh, and had a little bit of fun yesterday going over uh, some bars in a local park which I've not been to before which was quite fun I think they're fairly new I've not noticed them before Chris. I know bodyweight Chris so when I did a few Thatcher <laughs> <laughs> Calisthenics Chris probably would have worked yeah, better, know, but yeah. yeah, never mind. I'm not good at uh, on the fly nickname thing or humour in general. Yeah, no. I'm pretty bad at humour no, too. That's not fair, you're a funny guy. But uh, yeah, so Don't I went over to the bars, me. did some literally pull ups and dips to failure, nothing more complex than that. I only had about 30 minutes to crack on, so I just thought, why not go and do that? And it was good, and now I am sore. Yeah. It's a lot more that's volume, a lot more volume than I've done recently, because that's the other thing with, with the maintenance stuff. It was it, it was partly through well a very small percentage of choice, but it was just necessity. It was I, had, I pretty much had thirty minutes any given day to, to get stuff done. So yeah. I, I and do I, everything I, in thirty minutes. I cram it all in. But I guess it's what it's really like. Your head's not in it when you're that kind of pushed for time and stuff, in it. So you can't really approach it with that mentality of smash it out. You're like quick, do something. Quick, do something. Well, it else. depends what you're doing. I mean, if it's if it's body weight stuff then obviously you don't necessarily need to go to the gym. You don't need to allow for time to get there, get set up, arrange your equipment, grab your dumbbell, set your bar up. You, yeah, know, you yeah. can just go most of the time. And that's obviously one of the huge benefits of, of doing body weight, calisthenics, gymnastics based work. Obviously, if you need rings and things like that and, and other bars and you know, different parallel setups, then yeah, fair enough. You, you need equipment, but a lot of the stuff, if you, you press for time, you can still make it a pretty intense workout. Whereas yeah. if you're doing stuff that requires a little bit more external equipment, then, you know, 30 minutes, that can be a challenge. Not not to do, as I say, maintenance work or just moderate level stuff, but to do the, the higher level stuff. By the time I've done a few warm-up sets, you know, take something like a snatch. Yeah. It takes me probably about three warm-up sets before I'm ready to start Actually doing really testing seriously. myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, just to get the body conditioned, heat myself up completely, get the coordination going as well, because the more complex the move, as you'll know from gymnastics, the more warm up and prep you have to do. Yeah. That's the nature of it, because you've got to get your neural system firing up, um, as well as your uh, as well as your just musculoskeletal system. So, anyway, in gymnastics, just so you know, we spend like a good 25, 25, 30 minutes doing the warm up. This is just 
it, you, and sometimes I think, oh, come on, I want to get on, I want to do stuff. But then like, I actually think about it and I'm like, no, I do need to do this. And if we miss something, mm. I'm a stroppy motherfucker. I'm like, we haven't done shoulders, we need to do shoulders. Like, I get the ropes out. <laughs> and like, they all make jokes about it now. They're like, go around, oh, let's do splits. Because they do splits as well, obviously, with yeah. gymnastics. But they're like, oh, yeah, let's do splits. And then Warren, one of the coaches, will look at me and he go, oh. Turn around and you'd be like, right guys, first we'll get the skipping ropes out. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it's my favourite bit. That's what I pay seven pound fifty a week for. Yeah, it, it it's good fun to have time to to do more extensive prep work and conditioning work and all those sort of things as well. But all I've had time for recently is just to get a couple of strength exercises in, then some core based stuff, maybe a little bit of hit work to, to kind of finish. And with the emphasis being on doing a total body session every single time because not having the time to train every single day i'm like right well i want to get everything moving all the major yeah. joints all the big muscle groups stimulate at least once yeah something one done up, one dip one squat home time literally that's it you know it's just <laughs> as long as i can hit my legs i can do some pressing some pulling some core work and then you know get the heart rate up a little bit with some interval yeah. stuff that's that's a good 30 minute session but it's been a real treat just getting back and having a, enough time to yeah, just rack up a bar and you know throw it around a few times and warm up properly and test myself a little bit more because the it's, there's something there's a lot to be taken from just powering through a session and getting it done and, and cracking on, especially when you've got other things that are a little bit more pressing. You know, I'm not yeah. on a big weight loss kick. I'm not on a big hypertrophy kick. Like I don't have a really huge fitness based goal at the moment. I'm yeah. quite I'm actually quite content with everything. Maybe you know. Chris. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not saying I'm perfect, you know, far from it. But I've I've not got any strong desire to to be bigger, stronger, more supple, more flexible. Yeah. That that's coming back because other things are slowing uh, down and well, kind of just, settling off and Exactly, yeah, I'm just getting other stuff done and, and off my list. So yeah. you know, as soon as you've cleared that headspace you start to want other things, you you know, your goals. You your, have a your, chance to think about that kind of stuff, don't you? Like when you've got more important things, like they are called more important things because they're more important. Indeed. That's the, the be all and end all, isn't it? If you if you if you can do a minimal amount of work in a short period of time, so that you can, you know, carry on and get on with your other stuff, then <laughs> good, good exactly, on you. Exactly, exactly. It's uh, it's just picking what's most important at that time, as you say. And you know, for me, it's not been the, the health and fitness thing. It's just something that I can tick over in the background and not apply too much pressure on myself to, to achieve anything. As I say, that is starting to creep back in a little bit now. I'm going over the bars. Yesterday did uh, did inspire me to, to get back on that. You know, get the muscle ups going again. Trying you know get back into doing more handstand work and just yeah. developing that, especially with the parallel bars. You know, that'd be a lot of fun. I've never done a lot of handstand work off bars before, so that could be quite quite enjoyable give my wrists a bit of a rest yeah. as well um yeah that's it really so happy with doing that it on those bars yeah just on just while we're on it doing it on those bars will help you grip and adjust on the floor because you're kind of you're, it's much easier to flex with your wrists mm. kind of like this way <laughs> laterally isn't it rather yeah, yeah. than you know the other way <laughs> i'm good with my words <laughs> for, for the benefits of everyone listening reese is just flapping his hands around you know <laughs> It doesn't fairly, actually mean anything. Fairly non-distinct manner. Think of like um, twisting the light bulb, you know, like the old Bangra, the Bangra dances. And all. It's not Bangra, what the fuck have I said? Oh my God. Bangra. <laughs> Bollywood. We got, we got there the eventually. Old Bollywood madness, mate. I've been twisting my light bulbs galore. I've been changing them all. <laughs> and apart from your Bangra dancing, <laughs> what else have you been doing? Uh, gymnastics has been good. You know, um, uh, you know what, actually, I'm... Um, I've got a bit of a moan today because I'm bloody injured and one thing you don't want is to get injured and the thing is it's come out of nowhere and I've got no idea what really caused it and I've speak, spoken to a physio and they don't know what the issue is because one of the, the one of the guys is gymnastics right he's a he's a physiotherapist and I was like oh can you just have a have, have, I've hurt my hand Chris he's called Chris too and good name yeah it is a strong, strong name, name. <laughs> strong like bull <laughs> strong Chris Bull. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, I've done my wrist, my hand a bit of a mischief. And he was like, oh really? Like, how the bloody hell have you done that? Kind of, and I was like, I've got no idea what happened, but it just, like, it feels like there's a slice right across the middle of my hand from that, right, not up and down, but like east to west. 
you know, just a big line right through the middle. It's like almost like I've been karate chopped in the middle of my hand and it's bruised. Like, and it, it's all right for doing that. Like, I managed to be able to do handsprings, but round offs and any kind of twisty stuff that I'm doing with it, like whilst gripping or anything, mate, that is agony, like really bad. And it sucks because that, that affects me working on my floor. Uh, and that's, that, I mean, it's one of those things where I'm kind of happy about it in a way because I'm like, yeah, I can do like ring stuff, ring stuff, yay, ring stuff. But I really should be working on the floor. And, you know, my floor's still coming along all right. I can do, I've been doing these jumps out of the handspring, trying to get my uh, front tuck, and they're looking much better than they were when I was flopping. I don't know if you saw that video. Do you see the video of me flopping it into the mats? No, I didn't uh, actually. I'm going to show you that. I've seen some of your ring ones recently. They're pretty really cool. It was a really fun drill. Like, it was a really fun drill. <laughs> it just looks so stupid. I look probably pissed. It looks like it should be a fail video, but it's actually intentional, you know? <laughs> anyway, yeah. check out the YouTubes if you didn't see that. Um, yeah, so guys, just in case you were wondering, <laughs> I'll, I'll stick a link to it in the show notes. I've just realised, because I've got a vest on, I've been showing this girl who's lying on the field over there, I've been showing her my nipple this whole time because of how oh, I'm nice. sitting. <laughs> so I'm just trying to cover it up my hoodie quick. Well, yeah, it just looks like she's enjoying it <laughs> as she's uh, asleep. I'm really self-conscious of my nipples now. Yeah, so basically he had no idea what had happened to my hand. He, d he couldn't help me at all. And I feel like I've had this problem before. Like, I, I remember it, which is a bit weird to like remember an injury like that, that it's just that no one else knows about. And uh, what, I, what I kind of remember was my chiropractor, not a, not a hand expert, but a chiropractor and he kind of just shook grabbed my hand here in the middle and shook it about a bit and then he yanked it and it was fine so i'm seeing him monday duncan and hopefully he's going to do that for me last time i saw him because i've actually had this injury for like two weeks and kind of been like nah it's all right nah it's all right and last time i saw him he gave me one of my favorite things one of my new favorite things and i'm going to show chris here because i've got it on me it's this uh, spray. It's a magnesium oil and glucosamine spray. Right, very um, nice. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Magnesium is obviously for your muscles, mm -hmm. really, but the um, glucosamine... Good for your joints. It's for your joints. Look, there you go. Pure mineral spray. Pure minerals. <laughs> Shoot my minerals all over you. <laughs> very nice. Yeah, so, and it's... It's got a thing, it's, oh, it's got everything. And it's really mentally. <laughs> it's, got, it's got a thing, it's got everything. <laughs> yeah. It's got plenty of things. And I've been consistently spraying that on my hands and probably winding people up just with the... Cause you're, it's, you are using that responsibly, aren't you? That's not, that's, that is just going on your skin. No, it's mouth spray. Oh, it's mouth spray, okay. Yeah, you spray it in your mouth, then it fixes your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's kind of what I've been up to, really. I mean, training is going well, you know. I, I can't really complain. I've got a new PB for my circles. I've done seven yesterday at gymnastics, and I learned I was doing some on work. On the horse? Uh, no, on the, the mushroom. On the mushroom. Yeah, it's still on the mushroom, which is kind of lame. But I want to be able to just... I want to be able to just do it, you know, rather than counting my loops. I want to just be able to jump on and smash it out every time, because there's a particular way of actually starting doing circles on the pommel horse, like how you kick off your first circle and uh, you need to be good at circles to be able to do that otherwise you're gonna just bruise up all your legs sure. which I've actually done oh another injury to show you burnt up my leg on the pommel horse oh no oh, nice. injury friction Reese. burns friction Reese today you can call me that if you want <laughs> no it's not got not got the ring to it it doesn't does it friction no. Reese yeah so that's a shame sounds like a rubbish superhero <laughs> I go around, he's got sandpaper stuck to his fingertips. <laughs> I'm going to give you a really nasty carpet burn. <laughs> yeah. No! <laughs> You're Chinese. <laughs> so, yeah. But I did learn a new mount, like, onto the hand, onto the pommel horse, which is good. Because right. before, I was just, like, jumping up into support, mm. which it doesn't really look very good. What I've been doing instead is learning like a, like an up, a sheer upstart, and a sheer is when you kind of scissor it one way, like you're flossing with your with your towel. Mm. So you floss the pommel horse one way, but get, you get one leg over, floss it, and then you switch legs and floss it back the other way. Very nice. In one one swing, obviously. So it's like up, floss, turn, floss. Is that what it's called, flossing? No, that's what we call it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's actually called. I don't know what it's actually called. It, I, with gymnastics, I've got little my own names for everything because that's how I remember what it is. 
as long as you know what you're talking about I'm, yeah, <laughs> it makes yeah. sense to you and if you look at it you'd be like that is flossing <laughs> okay yeah so until someone uses the actual words ask you to do it and you say oh, <laughs> no yeah. idea but my coach is like adapted to my language now like my own kind of um, what's it called not a glossary is it a glossary your, your own words <laughs> your, vocabulary your, your, no the terms that you use for stuff I guess you could use glossary I think it is a glossary isn't it no. so he knows my own things anyway he knows what I call the tricks no. your terminologies yeah my terminologies thank you good so your uh, injuries aside you think you're on course for competition yeah yeah um, I've got managed with my planche on the rings I've managed to get to advanced tuck which is uh, like before I was doing it from straddle but well, I've been training it at home on my rings. I've had my little home gym set up with the rings on the door frame pull-up bar. And I've been practicing it. And the, the, it's really hard because you shake around. It feels like you shake around more than you do on the rings at gymnastics. And mm. I don't know why, because you think shorter rings, less, shorter rope, sorry, less shaky. But I think it's more just squeezing in the actual door frame. Yeah. And like where I'm a bit unstable, you wouldn't even notice at gymnastics, but I'm like, dong, 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 bashing the door frame about, shaking all over the place. <laughs> but I've been doing loads of dips on there. You know, I've been doing my, um, my planche training and I've been getting really good with my locked arms, like with my elbows forward. So actual planche position, which you need, mm. you know, and uh, that's really good actually. That's, that's got a lot better, but it sucks that I can't practice from straddle because if I could do a straddle sit instead of like an L sit or a tuck and then try and get through, I'd be in a, I can, I'd be doing a straddle planche actually on the rings. I probably wouldn't do it. I won't learn a full planche on the rings before the, uh, the competition. I do a straddle, which is the same like in terms of points and mm. score. So it doesn't really matter. That's, nobody cares. I think a planche on the rings, whether it's straddle or not, is fucking awesome. Do you know what I mean? Uh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Not an easy thing to accomplish. But yeah, progression's good, mate. Like, and that's like, it's, it feels really good as well. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm on course now. I'm not like panicking about skills. Like, I've already got my drop to back lever. That's looking pretty strong. And like each time I do it, I get a, a bit, uh, I'm able to like extend out a bit faster and get into the lever faster. Because mm. if you've seen any of the initial videos, you'll know that like I spent a, a lot of the time like kind of in an elbow lever, slowly going down, like really slowly and not being able to just go boom, beautiful. Yeah. So, I yeah. love the sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> the dong, ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine what it's like actually training with me. Oh, I imagine it'd be great fun. It'd be great. So it's one thing we haven't done, isn't it, really? We haven't done I a, think, a I think training we should probably just do some handstands here in a bit. Yeah, not in what I'm wearing at the moment. What are you wearing? Well, I'm wearing nice clothes. I've turned up, right? We, we've actually come up here, not, not just to have the podcast in person, but because we've got like a little meetup that we all do. I know you turn up to like one or two a year and this is one that I've turned up to mostly because Gracing it's, us with your presence. Yeah, mostly because it's 420. <laughs> no, so we've, I've come up to, uh, to catch up with these guys and um, Chris has dressed formally and I've dressed for training. <laughs> you are very dressed for training. <laughs> I'm dressed, I'm literally dressed for training. I think and that's pretty much all I see you in these days is just a vest. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, every call we ever get on, every <laughs> yeah, I, every time we meet I, up, yeah, yeah, it is really. It, it's I mean, I vest, trackies, and a hoodie. Yeah, but I, I guess that, uh, and I, it's not that I'm like training forever. It's that's not the case at all. No, but you're always prepared just in case. Yeah, yeah. Just should should a train. situation occur where you <laughs> where you to want to, yeah, you, you need to planch. <laughs> planch. There's a requirement for a head handstand. You're in the bank and someone Quick, comes hand. in and you know. Please, some... I'm going to kill you all unless <laughs> yeah. one of you can do a handstand. Oh, oh, oh! Me. I'll be like, I'll be like, I can do it. I'll step up for you, public, <laughs> general public. <laughs> I'll be in there. Good and to I'll be pull that front lever in front of it. <clears throat> Blimey. I think a fly just went in my mouth. Oh, nice. Well, that's the dangers of recording outside, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Chris walked into a whole cloud of flies earlier. That was nice. I think I've still got a few in my beard, actually. <laughs> I think you do. <laughs> Feel of crawling around. Save him for later, mate. They're quite salty today, it's all right. Yeah, it's protein, isn't it? Yeah, crispy. Is crispy that, is that protein vegan? snack. I don't know. Yeah, flies are vegan. Of course they are. Vegan friendly flies. Do flies have feelings? Flies, well, I mean. Yeah, probably. <laughs> they probably. <laughs> Shit, man, I feel so bad now. <sighs> so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of radio silence right I was there. just thinking think, I was thinking about the um, flies 
It's quite easy to forget that we're actually recording this, <laughs> given that I'm sort of sitting here just looking at this lovely little park in front of us and life just happening, you know, people yeah. walking by and, you know, you sit in the middle of London, it's really, really pretty. And then you just realise you've you got a mic strapped to you and you think, oh, I'm supposed to be saying something of, of value and worth right now, so <laughs> quick, what? I'm not editing this out, Chris. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm not, not saying you should. We need to make up a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> what are we on at the moment? I have no idea. 20 minutes. How's the, um, how's the 100 push-up challenge going? Yeah, it's going good. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I, you know what? I'm still behind on my videos. That's one thing that I... Sorry, guys. In the next week, I'm going to do five videos. I'm going to catch up with them. That's my promise to you. When are we releasing this? Next week. Yes. Yes. In a week. <laughs> your, solo, your solo episode only just went, uh, went after that. Time. Thank no, you. No, thank this you. one's Thursday. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. It's Friday. I'll do it t- tomorrow. I'll get it up to you. Oh, if you want. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll... Um, Oh yeah, a little sneaky announcement, just because it's coming up in conversation. I'm going to get my uh, gymnastics coach on, probably, for, uh, for a, little, a little kind of, not an interview session, but like, uh, you know, a bit of a group session with all three of us in. You know, we can all show up, we can all uh, shake our bits about and wave in each other's faces. <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear I, me, what I is so going on? I have so much fun with this. <laughs> But no, honestly, I think, you have to, I think you have too much fun with this. <laughs> I'm not sure anyone listening actually does, though. On a, on a serious him. note, though, I'm going to get him on and we can have a little chat about about a more kind of technical aspect of gymnastics training and how you can really apply it to to um, to your own your own pursuits. You know, the own, your own skills. How you can get kind of the most out of very very simple skills stuff that probably don't really exist inside or outside of like the gymnastics space really so was he a competitive gymnast himself yeah this is oh this is why i really wanted him to get him this is why i really wanted to get him on Mm. the podcast is because he's actually going him and the, the one of the other coaches and the rest of the guys are going for the british team for the olympics oh nice yeah yeah so that, I've just remembered, that's why I really wanted him on. <laughs> Not for selfish reasons, kind of selfish reasons. But um, yeah, and but I've, I've been talking with him about it. his training, I've seen those guys, because team gym is mostly like tumbles. Mm. It's like floor, vault, the trampette, and like just the tumble, just the running straight jump, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's everything that I'm shit at. Right. And uh, the, all the guys like, are absolutely amazing. And Tim, the guy, my coach's name, who, who's going to come on, he, uh, he is absolutely phenomenal. He's a really good, uh, he's a great coach and uh, he's a great gymnast as well. So we'll get very insight. It's going to be a valuable episode, guys. If, one, if there's one episode you le- listen to this year, it's not this one, it's next week's episode. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, so this is, this is the trailer for that. This, this is, is like just the us, prequel. <laughs> this is us catching back up and, yeah, the, uh, the little teaser yeah. for well, the, the main event. Yeah, we talking about your the training as well. You no, know. I think it's been good, but, um, yeah, we are going to have to probably wrap it up, I think, because uh, yeah, I think, time is pressing. I think we will have to wrap it up quite soon. You know what? I'm excited about doing another in-person rock, paper, scissors. I just thought at the very beginning of this recording, I was like, ooh, <laughs> we get to do that again. The only thing is, wild cards are going to be diff- difficult with, like, hand gestures. I think we just keep it straight. All right, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll just, go for the plain the old... Symbols. All right, cool, well... Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really know if I have anything else to say. No, I think uh, straight to uh, rock paper scissor and then wrap it up. All and, right, cool. Uh, well, let's face each other for this thing because this is a serious. This is a serious. Out. This is serious. Definitely. Right, ready? Rock paper scissors. After three, four, ready? Sure. One, two, three. Ah, oh, yes, done. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven <laughs> six. For the benefit of people listening, I did paper reested. Scissors. Yeah, we should, probably should have just screamed it out, shouldn't we? We should have been like. Scissors! <laughs> there you go, another one to your tally. Next Where time you go. I'm doing that, 11 6 is the score so far. Now I've actually done the count, we can update it every week. Excellent, I'm That'd sure be pretty cool. people will be very excited about that. I'm, I hope they are. I Guys, am. If you're not excited, I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not. No, no, I'm very excited. <laughs> you fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, we're going to go and have a chat with some other people down the pub now. So it's going to be it for this week. No drinking, though, Chris, all right? Of course not. I can't Not drink. on a school night. I can't drink on a school night. I'd be in big trouble with mummy. <laughs> right, so I have to do the outro, don't I? You do. That is it for this week, guys. Um, oops, a guy almost fell over walking. <laughs> Did you see him? He almost fell over. <laughs> I wish you'd seen that. Did you style it out? I wish you'd seen that. You did style it out a bit, yeah. 
Guys, that is it for this week. Sorry, I'm going to be serious now. If you like what you've heard, I know it's just been a bit of a fun episode, but if you like what you've heard, give us a subscribe. Give us an honest five-star rating and review, please. Pigeon's back. Pigeon's back. Come in for the poop. <laughs> so I better hurry up. Uh, don't forget to follow us on the socials, at More Than Lifting for me, or at Coach Thatch everywhere for Mr. Christ Hatcher, a.k.a. Maintenance Chris. And uh, yeah, also check out ChristopherThatcher.com to see what he is up to because he's got some interesting things coming on. Like, when is that masterclass happening now? Soon. Ooh, another cheeky preview for you soon. Chris is doing a masterclass, not on, not just on training, on optimizing every element of your life. It's gonna be bloody phenomenal. He's letting me in for free, isn't you, Chris? Good time. Yes. Nice race. You done that rabbit rally time course, didn't you, Tyrone? <laughs> Good <Cool, sorry>. time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Guys, as ever, love you loads and uh, keep in touch with yourselves. I'll catch up with you next week. That's it from me, Chris. Anything else? No, all good, mate. See you guys next week. Awesome. Bye then. Another interesting adventure.